Hey guys, it's Josh with DesignTutorials.com. We're going to show you how to do a uh, shipping cost per cart total amounts. So let me add some things to my cart. And the snake's the only one that's going to be able to, I'm only going to be able to use to show you this. I'm going to add one to the cart. When you go to a uh, checkout, the flat rate shipping will be uh, $10 when your cart totals below $50. Let me go back to the cart and add a, uh, add a couple more snakes. So I had 10, so there's uh, $80 in the cart. And now the shipping cost is only uh, $5. And then if your cart's above $100, the uh, shipping cost goes down to zero. And those are just the rules that we're going to play with in, in the uh, store configuration shipping. So let's get started. Alright guys, so before you get started, you want to come to this URL and you want to actually get the commerce flat rate. So make sure when you come down here you get the beta version, because if you come to Drupal Commerce, uh, I think it's shipping, shipping flat rate, it'll be a dev version. You don't want that. Do not download that one. Make sure you get the beta version, the beta 2. Alright, so once you get that, when you come to your, uh, your modules and install just the flat rate, and I assume you have a Drupal Commerce already installed. It's really easy to adjust. You just come to Store, Configuration, Shipping. You can automatically put this shipping method in here, a flat rate, if you have it all installed properly. But we need to add a shipping service. I'm going to add a flat rate of, uh, we'll say, uh, I'll call it shipping. But I'm only going to do uh, two of them. So I want to manage display title. The shipping for five dollars or whatever, and this is what's going to show up on the shopping cart. We'll just say shipping. The base rate is going to be five dollars. You know that. We'll save that. Then I'm going to add just a uh, another one. And we'll call it free shipping. And we'll call this free shipping too. And let's leave that one zero. And then the uh, the next one I'm going to make it a uh, I don't know we'll say ten dollars shipping. Call it shipping again. This one just be ten. So let me add a actual product to my uh, my products to the cart, and I'll show you what this actually looks like. So come to my products. I'm doing this from a fresh install as well, obviously. And let's add the snake because he's the one I like playing with. He's a cute little guy. We're going to add it to the cart. Now when we uh, view our cart, the shipping's not showing up there, but we'll go to checkout. And the next step. I we'll actually have the shipping hid because I was doing a bunch of stuff. So let's come to our store. Make sure your shipping's uh, in the right place. Configuration, checkout settings. I have my uh, shipping turned off because I was playing with a bunch of rules. And then we want to do uh, let's put it under the cart contents and checkout. We'll save that. Now when we refresh this page, it should show up right here. So the problem is they all show up, and yeah, they could all click each other, but that doesn't make sense. So what we need to do is actually add some uh, rules to our components to actually make this work. So we'll come back to our store, our configuration, and our shipping. We need to actually adjust the components of these different uh, shipping services. Alright guys, so we're going to configure these components now, and we're going to say that the shipping will be $10 if the cart is less than 50 
The shipping will be five dollars if the cart is between fifty and hundred, and then there'll be a free shipping if the cart is above hundred. So let's configure this component because it's the easiest. So configure the component of the ten dollar shipping, and we will say we're gonna add a condition. We data comparison. It's gonna be the order order, and the order total. And this is going to be the amount that's on the order. We want this to be less than 50, so we're going to do lower than. You have to switch this to direct input. So when it's lower than 50, and it'd be nice if you could enter it that way, but you actually want to enter it like this because Drupal automatically puts a decimal point in there. So we'll save that. Now when we go to our actual, um, we add a product to the cart, I'm going to go to my products. I had the snake because he's the only price that really works for this. So we'll add him to the cart. That rule will still show up when the uh, cart's below 50. Okay, so there's the $10 one. So if we go back and we put a. I'll just put 10 of them on here. And then we go to checkout. The $10 uh, shipping cost will go away. Yeah, so then there's only two showing. So now let's configure the uh, the fifty dollar shipping. So store configuration shipping. Let's configure configure the five dollar when it's up between uh, fifty and a hundred. So we'll configure the component. We we'll add the same condition. Data comparison. Order order. Order quant or total. Then the amount. We want this rule to only apply if it's a if it's greater than. You want direct input. Greater than forty nine ninety nine. Then that means uh, once it's fifty, they'll apply it. We have to get rid of the decimal point. I'll just put it in there just to show you how it's written. So we'll save that. But now we want to do um add a condition. Same thing. Order order. Order total. And the amount. Alright, so this one we want to be a uh, greater than. What I say? If we want it, if it's greater than uh ninety nine point nine nine. It's gonna negate it, which that means if it's a uh, so if it's above so if it's above ninety nine ninety nine, it's no longer gonna uh, apply this condition. You could do um lower than a hundred as well, and this will still work without negating it. But we'll just negate it. So we'll save that. Oh, whoops. Gotta go to uh, direct input mode. Sorry. Then ninety nine ninety nine, and it's negated. We'll save it. So now we come back here and we refresh this. Those two should still be showing. But now when we uh, increase the cart to greater than 100, it should actually uh, go away. So view the cart. And we'll put, um, let's put 15 in there. We'll update the cart. Now it's greater than 100. The $5 shipping should go away. And there it is. Right, but now we need to apply one more rule to the $0 one. That way that's not showing for everything. So come back to our rules. And our store configuration shipping. We want the $0 shipping or the free shipping. We got to configure this component. It's the same thing, add condition, order, order, or sorry, data comparison, order, order, uh, order total, order amount, and then apply this if it's greater than uh, 99, uh, direct input, then you apply this if it's greater than 99.99, so if it's $100 and up, apply this discount only. So we'll save that.
Now we come back here, and we go back to our uh, back to our shopping cart. If we put this back at ten, the zero dollar one will uh, now go away. So now five dollar shipping is the only one we have, and if we lower that down to below below fifty dollars total, the uh, ten dollar shipping will only, the only one that will be showing. So that's pretty easy. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you soon.